Hi there, Americana Film Fest. Uh, thank you guys so much for screening The Overnight. Uh, it's really exciting that the film's uh, been on the journey that it's taken and that it's going to come to Barcelona is uh, really exciting for me. I had a wonderful experience there last year when I came to Sitges, uh to screen Creep. Um, and now coming back with somewhat of a different film, uh, but also hopefully it will be uh, titillating for you guys. I, I'm interested in a lot of different things uh, from a filmmaking standpoint, uh, subject-wise, genre-wise. Um, you know, I saw that Overnight as a chance to dip my toes into comedy. Um, you know, there's some comedic elements in Creep, uh, but I feel like um, I was able to really indulge in those uh, kind of similar elements in the Overnight. Um, and uh, yeah, it was just, it was a chance to, you know, take on some subjects thematically that I've always wanted to. And it was a chance to be able to work with um, actors. Uh, you know, my first film was just me, Mark Duplass and a movie camera. And so uh, this was a real pleasure to be able to work with such great um, actors who had such great timing and really brought uh, brought an incredible life to the movie. Well, the difference is I'm not having to act as well. So, you know, with Creep, I was wearing a bunch of different hats at the same time. And um, with the Overnight, I was kind of able to just simply take a step back and be a be a director and be a director who is dealing with the script that I wrote. So, you know, uh, with Creep, we didn't have a script at all, but with this, we had a pretty tight script, but then, you know, there's moments of improvisation and there was moments where we would change the script while we were, uh, making the movie. The film was actually shot in, in 12 days, 10 of those nights. So it was a very quick, intense shoot and it was extremely collaborative um all the actors are extremely smart uh, a few of them are writers as well um and uh so it was really just a just a really positive environment to be making this movie in because we had such a short amount of time um so there was a really intense focus and then having a bunch of smart um collaborators really helped make this um you know something i think is special. I love working with Mark and Jay. Uh, Mark and I, my dog is freaking out right now. The postman arrived uh, as he does every day and my dog freaks out, so sorry. I love working with Mark and Jay. Uh, they're great mentors and collaborators. Uh, it was an extremely intimate experience making Creep with Mark, it just being the, the two of us for the most part. Um, the third person kind of being our uh, other uh, friend, Chris Donlin, uh, our editor and co-producer on that film. Um, and so I, I learned a lot making that movie and it was really good to have people who are good at um, uh, making stuff with very little little means, very sm small amount of tools. Hey! And yes, we have uh, a, a couple things cooking in the hopper coming up. Um, nothing that I can really talk about yet, but uh, uh, developing a few ideas and um, working on a couple things. So excited to still be working with those guys for sure. I guess if there is any specific critical intention with the overnight, it's I wanted to deal with issues that are normally kind of poked fun at in a way that's maybe a little more negative um, and uh, 
treat them, um, you know, come at them from a point of like, I guess, love and self-acceptance. You know, I think the movie is ultimately about self-acceptance. Um, and, uh, you know, hopefully we just take a route getting to that point. That's a little more funny or entertaining, but I, you know, uh, I, w I wanted to play with sort of these big, broad comedic elements, but I also wanted to ground them in some kind of, you know, realism and how the film shot and the performance style, um, and in the writing. Um, and so, you know, I, I wanted to certainly leave uh, a lot up to the audience in terms of um, objectivity, but I also, I don't know, I, I, I think it was, it was interesting to me to be sort of entering the comedy world from the back door, I guess you'd say. It was not, um, not a normal approach to this, this type of subject matter, for sure. Um, so, you know, other, other than that, I, I just wanted to make something that was funny and entertaining and engaging for people and worth the time spent um, and the money spent seeing the movie. This scene is responsible for all the buzz regarding male nudity in film. Um, you know, I, we knew that this was going to be a subject that people talked about with the movie. Um, and uh, I was fine with that. I love that element of the film being in there, but I also love the fact, especially that it is there to help you learn more about the characters besides existing solely as a gag or as a, as a joke and leaving it at that. Like I wanted this joke to be a surprise, but I also wanted it to be something that drives the, the, the plot of the film. I really like the idea of the issues that these characters are, are experiencing being kind of, you know, seemingly small and internal, but also, you know, ending up being these things that um, sort of hold them back and they're able to overcome that through what happens in the movie. I just want to thank you all so much for coming out to see the movie. Um, I'm very excited and honored to be screening it for you and uh, I really hope you enjoy it. Um, and I, I hope it's a blast for you. Uh, we made it solely that folks would laugh and cringe and have a good time. And I hope that's the experience for all of you. So, uh, which is gracias. Thank you so much for coming out to see the movie. Thank you guys. Take care.